All right, guys, I want to do a quick video here to make sure that uh, the point hasn't got lost in the past year or so. Because it's been a while, and since I've been doing this, a lot of other people have came and went. And I've always tried to encourage everybody I could to make videos if you wanted to, to not let me be your voice. And maybe I haven't said that in a long time, but I'll reiterate it now. But, you know, a lot of people have got into the video game football aspect and then I went to do video game reviews or entertaining videos and that's never been my stance I've always came out to show you guys some examples in marketing for EA and marketing for companies in these games gameplay examples and let you guys make a decision on what you wanted to buy I would never personally come out and tell you you need to do this you have to do that I think what I said to you about Backbreaker was you owe it to yourself to try this game, to buy this game, if you're a football fan. And I stand firm to that. For me to give the game a review on a 1 to 10 scale is ludicrous. I haven't reviewed any game like that, so you wouldn't have anything to base it off of. So, okay, if I gave Backbreaker a 7, and All Pro Football an 8, and Madden a 4, which are just obviously random numbers you wouldn't be able to discern what the difference was between a four to a seven or a four to a six four to an eight you wouldn't be able to say okay if madden's a four and he says all pro is a nine then the game is that much better i've never gotten any reviews just because of that i'd rather let you guys make your own decision and just provide you the examples so now that we're holding game companies to this high standard of being honest I find it very odd that there's a few people out here that want to go ahead and say, this game doesn't have X, this game doesn't have Y, and this game doesn't have Z. Well, the company was up front about it not having those products. So you can't sit there and say, this game is bad because of this. Because you knew up front that that wasn't going to be in the game. When it's the other way around, when a game company says this, this, and this are going to be in the game, and they're not. Then you can hold the company accountable and say, no, your game's not good because you lived up to a promise you didn't fulfill. So in closing, I mean, just to keep it in perspective, I'm not here to be a video game reviewer. I never was. I never will be. I think when I got inspired by Apex to start doing this, he wasn't doing video game reviews. So it wasn't like that's what I was going to take off and run with. If he had been out there doing game reviews, he probably wouldn't have inspired me the same way to approach this channel the way I did. So, for those of you guys who want to see me rip Backbreaker apart, it's not going to happen. They were very, very honest with how they marketed this game. Does that make it a better game than Madden? No. Does it make them a bit more of an honest company? Yes. Does it make me give them the benefit of the doubt? Absolutely. Especially when I deal with Todd, the head, uh, you know guy with the game in terms of gameplay and he responds to me in under eight minutes under 10 minutes under 15 minutes when he gets back to me and he says ryan let me know what's wrong with the game so i can work with you i have faith in a company like that now a company like ea that has pretty much laughed at my videos even though i know they watch them that has helped me get banned from forums i have a problem with that you know that's not being proactive about your product and trying to make a better product that's just trying to shun away the negative. But it's never been about the negative. Has it been comical at times? Yes. Has it been bashing at times? Maybe. But the point has always been to educate you guys to make a better decision. So that's what my channel is about. I'm not going to start doing game reviews. I'm not going to give you numerical ratings. And I'm sure not going to bash a game just because it doesn't have things that I knew already weren't in it. And you certainly can't say, this game isn't simulation, or this game is arcade because of this, this, or that. Because that's your personal preference. If Madden to you is simulation because it has real players, then it's simulation to you because it has real players. If Backbreaker is arcade because it doesn't have the NFL license, then to you it's arcade. I am nobody to tell you what you feel about a product. So, please don't come to me like I am. Again, just to clear things up, because things, like I said, multiple people have came in here, and there's just been some changes along the way, and I felt like I needed to reaffirm my stance on my channel, and where I'm going, and what I'm doing, so you guys know what to expect from me at the end of the day.